What's going on everyone? It's Simran Singh back with another video and boy do we have an exciting video for you guys today. We actually have Adam White on the channel today who graduated from the University of Detroit Mercy School of Dentistry in 2011 and he is a current practice owner and he runs a YouTube channel called Beyond Dentistry. So make sure you guys check out his channel. The vibe of his channel is amazing and he makes some awesome, helpful and resourceful videos for you guys and he'll definitely explain more of that later to come. So Adam and I are collaborating today to give you guys an understanding on how this pandemic has affected the dental profession and us as dental students. He's gonna go more in detail about the clinical aspects and what precautions him and his employees are doing at his dental practice. We really are making this video just so you guys have an understanding of what precautions are being taken in dental offices and just so you guys are more comfortable when you go to your dental visits. But yeah guys, before we go into specifics, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment any questions you have. I'm sure Adam will watch this and answer any of those specific questions you have for him. And then if you have any questions for me, I'll make sure to answer it down below. But yeah, let's get into the topic of the video. So before we go into Adam's part, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what my school is doing because of this pandemic. So originally we had all of our courses in class. Obviously some of them were required and some of them weren't, but we had all of our courses in class and then we had SimLab six hours a week and we were able to practice whenever we wanted to. And my class was split up into two groups. So there'd be 72 people in one Sim group and 72 people in another. Now because of this pandemic, all of our didactic courses are online until 2021 at least and for SimLab we are now split into four groups um, A, B, C and D so we have 36 people per group and now we have to go in at specific times and that time could be anywhere from you know 8 in the morning or 4 30 p.m. so there's essentially the reason why they're doing this is because we can't have that many people in one area anymore um, we used to have five people per row in our sim clinic. Now we only have one or two people. And obviously the reason for that is because we have to take these social distancing protocols just so we as students are safe and obviously the people that are in school are safe as well. And same thing going on with the clinic. Essentially the clinic is going to be run for more hours and there are less people in the clinic and less patients at a time. So it's really changed a lot. And you know, obviously until there's a vaccination, or some you know viable treatment you know for this disease um, this is going to be the new norm for a while so obviously we want to make sure you as patients uh, have an understanding of what's going on as a dental profession because you know ideally most of you guys are going to be seeing your dentist and they're going to be taking less patients um, they're going to be taking necessary precautions they're going to be slower because they have, there's a lot of you know protocols that they have to follow they can't just you know go in and out of their offices at once because they have to continually change their PPE and they can't be wearing the same gown that they had with another patient because they, you don't want to contaminate you know someone else that you're seeing so obviously there's a lot going on and it can be really tough to follow so we want to make this video as resourceful and educational as possible and I'm glad Adam came on because obviously I am not a dentist I'm still in dental school so I don't know uh, what specifically is going on like what the necessary precautions are so Adam is going to explain more of that in the next part of the video so yeah, again guys, make sure you guys check out his channel. He'll explain more of it later. And yeah, make sure you subscribe to him. He's honestly a great resource. I love his channel. And I genuinely hope nothing but the best for him. And honestly, he's a great dude. He's always responding to my comments whenever I ask him about his production or anything else. He's a great guy. So if you have any questions for him in particular, honestly hit him in the comment section below in his videos. And yes, please subscribe to his channel. All right, Adam, take it away. What's up, Simran? Thanks so much for having me on your channel. Honestly, it takes me back because I was Detroit Mercy class of 2011. So seeing that Sim Lab, all of that stuff, it really takes me back. Keep it up, love your videos, and definitely looking forward to more. I thought I would share some of the changes that my office has had to make with the recent pandemic and coming out of the lockdown because it is a little bit different for patients right now. And honestly, it's still taking me and my staff a little bit of time to get used to. The big thing patients notice, first of all, is it's just like any 
anything else. It's like, you know, you go to the store now or get your hair cut. It's just different. Like everybody's wearing masks. I've got all this plexiglass up on the front desk now. We're taking your temperature. We're taking our temperature when we come in. It just doesn't, you know, seem as friendly as it used to. Even like me, when I walk into a room, I've already got my mask on. I've already got my face shield on. And dentistry is like, it's a really personal thing. Like I really like to connect with people before we get to work or before we do their exam. And because of the masks, it really doesn't let you do that as much. So it's something we have to do for now, you know, following the guidelines and everything. But hopefully in the future, we get back to a little semblance of normal. We actually slowed down our schedule a little bit too, because just having fewer patients in the office at one time, like the social distancing thing, we don't like to have people in the waiting room. It's better if they just come in straight from their cars and we don't like to really overlap people right next to each other. And so the schedule's just kind of been spread out. A couple big changes for the staff. <laughs> this is a picture of me with some PPE stuff. So I've got my 4.5 loops on. I've got a KN95 mask. I have a level three on over that. And then I have this face shield. I'm wearing a disposable lab coat because the gowns have been really hard to come by and the lab coat's kind of like a alternative, but just all this PPE, that's been the hardest part for us, man, because like when I was doing a filling six months ago, I could be in the middle of a filling and if my hygienist is done, I can get up and do that exam. Whereas now I can't really do that because it takes so long to get out of this stuff to, you know, clean the face shield off and then get back into a different gown and a different mask. It's just, it's a headache. And so we really have to be a little more strategic with how we time things. And it's, it's definitely slowed us down a little with the PPE. Honestly, we're kind of getting in a groove with it, just sort of working at a slower pace. I think by the time this is all settled down, if we ever get to go back to normal, it's gonna be like a total luxury. And as far as our scope of treatment goes, like the things that we're doing in the office, there's a couple smaller changes. The big one is in hygiene, because I run two columns of hygiene. So I've got eight patients with one hygienist and then eight patients with another hygienist. And because of the time it takes to turn over the room, and the fact that we don't want to generate any aerosols in the room, we're not using the ultrasonic scalers at all. So if you've had your teeth cleaned with an ultrasonic scaler, you know what that's like. It's just blowing, you know, a ton of mist everywhere. So ultrasonic scalers are out right now. And honestly, we're not even polishing. And the reason for that is polishing is technically considered an aerosol procedure. And so by not polishing, we're actually able to keep those hygiene visits as, as technically non-aerosol. Most people have been pretty understanding to that. And it just helps us keep the aerosols down in the office. And just, like I said, it's technically not an aerosol procedure. And then we also have patients rinse with a pre-procedural rinse. So before they even sit down, we'll hand them a little Dixie cup with some mouthwash in it. We use, I think it's called Peroxyl. It's a hydrogen peroxide based mouthwash, which, so as they walk in, even before they sit down, we hand them a little cup with some mouthwash and they rinse with it. Most most offices are doing this and I actually think it might be recommended by the CDC. I know it was at one point, I don't know if it still is, but either way we're going to do it until you know, until this whole thing gets a little bit more normal. Other than that, we're pretty much just a regular dentist office like we were before just a little bit slower and everyone's wearing masks. If you do want to check out my channel, it's called Beyond Dentistry. I try to keep it really real about the profession and I've kind of geared it toward dental students that are in clinic and then first and second year, third year dentists because there was a lot of stuff that I had to learn the hard way. Dentistry is an awesome profession. Honestly, I'm really grateful to be in it. But at the same time, there are some things that can be pretty stressful. And if you're not expecting it, it can, it can hit you hard. Simran, thanks again, man, for the opportunity to be on your channel. Love what you're doing with the videos. Definitely looking forward to more in the future.